What's going on, Internet people? I am going to start a, another project, um, one that I ha should have started a while back. And I just, I've been really, really, really nervous about doing this myself. But it's almost going to be a year since the EcoBoost Mustang was down. And I need to do something because I, I don't have money to pay somebody to do it. So I, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing um when it comes to engine internals and all that shit so i bought a short block from uh, jesse ringley at uh, engineered motorsports uh, ems and that is waiting for me uh, the problem is that i don't have cash to buy a brand new built head and port ported and built head um, so i have to take off the head off of my car and somebody is going to actually port the head for me um as a favor or whatever thank you very much i don't know if I'm supposed to say who you are, so I, you know I don't want people to reach out to you, try to get a free fucking ported or whatever head. Anyways, so what I want to try and do is start disabling or dismantling, sorry, my engine from the head to the turbo intercooler, all that shit, so that the engine can be pulled out later on. And or actually, first I do want to take off that head and set it to get ported. And then I'll figure out what to do with the block and all that shit. But um, there's going to be some other videos coming up. Right now I have a video rendering. It's been rendering for three or four days now that I completed on my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra or whatever the hell it is. I don't know why it's taking this long. Granted, <laughs> it was like seven or eight hours worth of video because it took me three days to do the stupid um, uh, J-Pipe intake delete deal thing on my chaser and it's processing now if i had my way i would love to have something like the new pixel fold to use that for videos and editing and all that shit and just for that so if anybody wants to hook a brother up uh, please uh hook me up anyways i don't know that one whatever you gotta try right um right now i'm recording with the pixel 3a or something like that i can't remember which one it is but i love the phone it's just that it's so tiny I, I, my hands are freaking i got huge ass monkey fucking hands and shit and i need something to uh work with easier also i have the neuropathy and and the uh what is it called the uh neuropathy and fibromyalgia and so my fingers are very numb and you know the stylus it just really helps but whatever i you know, I, I had the uh, Galaxy Fold, but there was just a lot of issues with it, and I sent it back. But now I kind of want some other phone type, uh, foldable type phone that I can use with a stylus of some sort. If not, it's fine. I can use my fingers or whatever, but that will make it easier for me to edit these videos and shit. Let me just show you real quick. Hold on. So this has been rendering, processing for three or four days now. I really don't know if it's actually going to finish or not but that's that's my primary phone i do all my editing and everything on that phone pictures and videos i usually do from the phone that i'm working on and then i transfer them over to this phone and i start my editing but yeah i really need something better ah uh, anyways okay so what you're gonna see is me trying to take apart the ecoboost mustang finally i need to do something because it's just sitting here and i love this car so stick around. You might learn something or not. You might learn how not to do something. Okay. So right here, I have this exhaust fan that I installed. Here's the wire, goes all the way down right there. Right there, right there. And it connects over here. And so I gotta take all that apart or at least uh, make it put a little plug so that I can easily take it off and on. That's gonna be the first thing I, I need to do. The reason is because I cannot take off this hood, which I want to take the hood off and put it on top of the car first. I might make a little quick connect here. I'm gonna have to go find that first. So I found these little fuckers on eBay this is what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna cut the wire and strip them with these. Okay, now I can 
take the hood off. It's not a good idea to do this with one person. Stay there. All right, now that I got the hood off and everything, I'm going to take off the battery. I don't want a fire to start when I start disconnecting shit. I have to take this out. Oh. So that I can avoid a, avoid a fire after I take one out, I'm going to put this in between so it doesn't touch. Because this shit has sparked on me and it's, <laughs> it's intimidating. I'm going to stick this in here. I'm going to be over here actually. I'll just open it up so it can come out easy. And you want to do the negative first. Okay, now that I have that off, I need to do this one in here that's holding the battery down. The good thing about this car is that I know this fucking uh, car inside and out, um, stock or not. So a lot of this is going to be really quick and easy for me to do, for others not so much. So I'm going to take this stuff out here and slide the battery in there and just, just going to stay there until I'm done. Remember, I have two batteries in the trunk powering my uh, audio system. So there might be current coming back because I didn't flip the switch to kill it. Bam! Okay, next, um, I believe what I'm going to do is take out the intake and the turbocharger and the turbocharger manifold uh, the, the downpipe uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it there or not yet but um, the other thing I'm thinking is maybe take off the front bumper so I can get to everything easier I'm just afraid that the uh, that the uh, intercooler is gonna get damaged so I, I gotta think about that oh boy this will be a lot of work I'm gonna have to probably take off this catch can, but I want to put labels on it first so I don't confuse uh, which what goes where. So I'm gonna stop it here. Okay, I didn't want to bore you guys with me putting labels and shit, but this one goes to the intake, that one goes to catch can, this one goes to catch can, catch can. Each one of these is numbered and stuff like that. It's just easier for later on because I, I might forget. I mean, I can always look this up or ask questions around or whatever, and somebody's gonna know. I'm just trying to prepare myself for later. One of the problems with doing all this is where am I going to put stuff? My garage is full of crap. Alright, now this should be able to come out hopefully. I have to take out the filter. Now, this intake pipe is from MA Performance from their turbo kit and I cut it in the middle to add a little more flexibility because this fucking water coolant tank was getting in, in the way. And it's all scratched up because of it, see? Uh, you can't see from that part. Now I'm gonna do this. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. Where can I put this camera? You guys work on cars a lot. We need some of these. <laughs> From the fire. 
It's a bitch. There's this flat here. What? That's why it's a bitch. All right, y'all see what I see there? Somehow I cut myself. So I took off the bolts for the turbo manifold, took out the turbo manifold, wastegate, turbo, downpipe I'm going to take off later. I mean, I, I'm pretty much done for today. This is going to be a short video and I will be making more as I start taking off intake, manifold, charge pipes, and then this deal, bumper, the head, everything. All right, that's it for now, guys. Those little few things that I did, I'm already worn out. My back is already killing me. I gotta lose <laughs> and I'm just tired. The heat here, 100 plus degrees, and it's Phoenix, Arizona, so it's a dry ass heat. And we haven't had any rain, so it's not humid or anything, but that's it for today. If you guys have any questions of what I'm doing or whatever, how to do something, how to take something off, let me know. I'll try and answer them for you. But thank you for watching and please come back because there's going to be more on this thing that I need to do. Peace.